नेक्स्ट मेथड इन कैनेटिक्स ऑफ पार्टिकल्स इंपल्स मोमेंटम मेथड सो व्हाट इज इंपल्सिव फोर्स सो इंपल्सिव फोर्स डेफिनेशन इंपल्सिव फोर्स इज डिफाइंड एज ए लार्ज फोर्स व्हिच इज एग्जर्टेड इन ए स्मॉल इंटरवल ऑफ टाइम ड्यूरिंग कोलिजन सो इंपल्स इज नथिंग बट ए लार्ज फोर्स अप्लाइड इन ए शॉर्ट इंटरवल ऑफ टाइम सो इंपल्सिव फोर्स आई इक्वल टू इंपल्स फोर्स इनटू टाइम इंटरवल सो आई इक्वल टू एफ इनटू डीटी वेयर एफ इज इंपल्सिव फोर्स डीटी इज टाइम इंटरवल सो नेक्स्ट वन एग्जांपल्स ऑफ इंपल्स फर्स्ट वन व्हेन ए बैट्समैन प्लेस ए शॉट फॉर 6 ए फोर्स एक्ट्स ऑन ए बॉल थ्रू ए बैट फॉर शॉर्ट इंटरवल ऑफ टाइम वी कॉल दैट फोर्स एन इंपल्सिव फोर्स second one when a bullet strikes a glass an impulsive force acts on the glass third one while playing caroms the striker hits the coin for a very short time but sends it to the pocket next one momentum what is momentum momentum is the product of mass and velocity so it is the measure of motion so momentum p equal to mass into velocity so p equal to mv m is mass v is velocity impulse momentum equation let us consider a body of mass m now uh, i am applying the system of forces f1 f2 f3 on the body now the body tends to move from the position a to position b with time interval t the velocity at position a is u the velocity at the position b is v now resultant forces acting on the body f equal to summation of all the forces so adding all the forces f1 f2 f3 so f equal to sigma f it is equal to f1 plus f2 plus f3 so this one is the equation number 1 so we know that from the newton second law of motion resultant force f equal to ma so where m is mass a is acceleration so f equal to m into dv by dt we know that acceleration a equal to dv by dt so now cross multiplying this equation f into dt equal to m into dv now integrate on both sides comma we get so f into integral dt is equal to m integral dv so what are the limits for time 0 to t what are the limits for dv initial velocity to final velocity f into integral dt is equal to m into integral dv so now what is integral for dt t so f into t what are the limits 0 to t is equal to m into what is the integral for uh, dv v so what are the limits u to v so now applying the limits f into t is equal to mv minus mu so here uh, mv is the final momentum mu is the initial momentum so mv minus mu so final momentum minus initial momentum so now uh, f into t equal to m into v minus u okay this one is the equation number 2 so finally impulse equal to change in momentum in terms of weight f into t equal to double by z into p minus u this one is the equation number 3 so we know that w equal to mg from this equation what is m m equal to w by z